There we go. All right. This is your boy, Mr. G. We're out in the Pine Barrens in the sugar sand. And I talked to you about what should I do? Should I get wheat? Should I uh, trade in the vet? Should I just get a lawnmower with a good self propelled with a shovel on it? Or get a Ford F 150? Or uh, what should we do with this situation? Because there's no way I'm getting up that driveway uh, in the snow in a vet. And I am working class, I don't believe in having a luxury Corvette. I drive it every day to work. So, we're going to do the big reveal for you. We're going to show you the beauty of my brand new quad with a, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Here, let's switch quads. You go that way. Camera lamp. You go that way. Walk out there. Yeah, back up. So, here she is. Uh, I switched. Um, backwards, backwards, backwards. Um, decided to go with the Wrangler. Just got the basic Wrangler. I did need the two-door in the front and two-door in the back because uh, unlike the vet, I can now transport the little ones. Um, and this thing is beautiful. Uh, walk with me. So, of course, they don't like to have badging in the 2018 in the front. They took off all the badging because the front of the Jeep is their emblem, so they don't have anything to prove. But apparently they do like badging because they put trail rated 4x4 Jeep, Wrangler, Unlimited, Sport. Um, these are new for 2018, help with the uh, wind resistance because obviously high and square, so you get wind buffeting when you're on the highway. I drove it on the highway today pretty fast. It would only be a problem like, you know, 70 mile per hour winds or something. So this is the front of it. I went with the black soft top so it's completely removable and obviously Jeep guys know you know more about this than I do but this comes all the way down this comes all the way back these are now the windshield wipers embedded in them and the stoppers um, but she's just beautiful just just a wonderful thing they, these come off these come off this comes off this is a new thing. They're out a little bit for those people who get the option to have the um, lane shift warning that you shouldn't, or should, you should or should not pull over. The camera has to be able to see the rear view mirror, and they couldn't pull it off, so they pulled the, the mirrors out some. I imagine that if people are going to do uh, what I'm going to do today in a hardcore manner, they're going to need to get guards for these. I'm just going to play in the sugar sand in, uh, in the pine barrens. So. I think I'm okay. You got your full tire uh, in the back and your hooks and um, yeah. So I went ahead and switched up. No more Corvette. Now we're in this uh, bad boy and we have to come up with a name for her now that I called her a boy and a her. This is my new transgender Jeep. <laughs> so so uh, we'll come up with a name for her. I just use comic book names. I'm not going to lie. Like every single time I just use So, um, this is my Jeep. Let's do this. I'm going to put you on my noggin, and you can go with me for a ride. Noggin switch. Here we go. Hold. Whoop. Yeah, do it. You look good. This is my camera woman, so if this is just like the worst footage you've ever seen, it's her fault. And if it's amazing, then it's my fault. Here we go. I'm going to lower this thing because I got a helmet on. And because I'm a doofus. Uh, check this out. Woo. Sugar sand, sugar sand. Hail Mary. Yeah, right. So, here we is. And let's start. Let's um, keep traction control on. Turn this off. This uh, stops. So this here, Jeep has a situation where it um, 
will shut cylinders off. It's the six-cylinder uh, Pentastar. It'll shut cylinders off when you're at a light. We don't want to have less power when we're in sugar sand. So, yeah, I mean, that's not cool. So I'm going to put this belt on. I'm going to lower this out of your way. Uh, that's kind of ridiculous. I'm going to back myself up. And then hopefully you guys can see. We're in four-wheel drive. It's got these little Easter eggs all over the car of the original Jeep, which is kind of cool too. Yeah, we'll lower this for you. And uh, very strange compared to being in my vet. Let's do it. Yeah, it loves the sugar sand. <laughs> Let's get the compass. All right, we're, so we got to head, head south to come back. And when you're in the Pine Barrens, that is important because it all looks like this. All of it. So you can get spun around out here real quick. Man, I see the appeal now. Now I get it. Sugar sand, sugar sand. Woohoo! Wow. This is tons of ridiculous amounts of fun. Sugar sand! Yeah, so you can do that with it. Just, just go right through sugar sand. Pretty sweet. I'll catch you guys on the other side. Catch me on Instagram, Facebook, motovlog.com. And uh, we'll talk about the new Jeep. Peace.